Hello, and thanks for joining me on our site-to-site -site VPN videos. This is part three, uh, where we cover the firewall rules. In previous videos, we've covered the the setup of the lab environment. Uh, that was video one. In video two, we've set up, we've talked about how to actually configure site-to-site -site VPN. And now we're on video three, part three, and we're going to talk about the firewall rules to allow traffic to go across the VPN tunnel. Okay, we are currently on this PFSense machine right here. Let's go over to this machine here and we're going to set up the firewall rules that are going to allow traffic to go across. Okay, let's head on over there. Firewall rules, and if you look at our WAN, these are the default rules that are in place when you set up a, a brand new PFSense. Um, these are the default LAN rules that come with PFSense, um, essentially just saying, hey, whatever is inside, whatever wants to come out of this network, just let it out. Uh, and then we have IPsec, because we've set up IPsec. So let's go ahead and look at what we have there. So effectively, we've got a a rule in IPsec that is saying anything, this is an any any rule for IPv4, IPv6, that I'm <laughs> I'm allowing everything out. And this is very basic, right? This is there's nothing much more that has to happen on, on this site. Where things get a little bit more complicated is on uh, site B, where we've got the three interfaces and they are going to be uh, directing traffic around. So let's go ahead and look at that site B. Awesome, we are over here on site B PFSense machine. We're dealing with, we're now currently on this machine right here. Um, and we are gonna look at the firewall rules that we have over here. Now, on the, on the other side, we went to the IPsec. So let's go firewall, go down to our rules, and let's look at IPsec first. The exact same rule is over here. IPv4 plus IPv6, it's an any any rule, and it's allowing all traffic, any protocol, everything allowed across. Let's go and look at the firewall rules that are uh, set up on the other interfaces. So WAN, it's the default. These are the ones that come by default with the, the traffic. When you set up a, a brand new PFSense, this is what you get, as long as you're okay with that. Uh, let's look at LAN exactly the same as the other side, right? Everything that's inside the, the network is allowed out of the network. Now remember this op one here, let's go over this one. This is the, the interface that, P, that VPN is connecting over. And remember, when we went to the YouTube video, the YouTube channel in the other video, we were able to see that we were actually able to get to YouTube and all that traffic to come back. Let's look at what the firewall rules look like now. Boom, there's nothing there because we are dealing with stateful firewalls, we're able to go out, and because of this, because the state is remembered, we're able to get back down into the network, okay? So this is all great, and this looks like it's basically the, nothing more than default setup. What, what we have that's different here is our outbound traffic. So yes, in, in my Kali machine, I was able to get out to YouTube, uh, but without knowing, without configuring this PFSense machine, I'm not going to be able to actually do that. Let's go and look at our firewall again. But this time, let's look at our NAT. And we want to look specifically at our outbound. Okay. So here we are. Now, when you open this up for the first time, it's it's l going to be set to automatic um, on the on this PFSense, it would it would be set to automatic, okay? Uh, by default, it's going to say, hey, you're a local network, you can just leave. And then because we are a stateful firewall, we're going to remember that and you're gonna be able to get back in. But we have a couple interfaces on our site B network here that we actually have to say, well, that traffic is coming from different locations. How are you gonna get out to the internet? So we need to do a manual outbound hit save, and you'll be able to look at the, the current 
outbound rules. Now there's a few here that are set up by default. Um, right all along here, this one is our, our local area network on the site B. This would be our, our IPsec, right? Because we're dealing with the host only. It was a 16 network. And we had to actually add a rule, which would be this guy here. So remember, the Kali network, Kali LAN, was set as uh, 5.0. Oh, sorry, it's on the 5 network. So it's what's happening is that when traffic goes across the VPN and it wants to go out to the internet, we're, we're allowing the outbound traffic to say, hey, you can go out. Um, we'll do the work of remembering that you left so that when you come back, your state will be remembered and we know where to go, where those packets need to come. That's how we're able to get out to the internet. This is all great. Uh, at this point, we've set up VPN phase one, phase two. We've configured firewall rules on site A and site B. Now we need to go and actually connect our, our VPN. We need to have an established connection so that the, the, tr the data from site A can actually get over to site B and then out to the internet. So we'll go over to status and you're gonna to go to IPsec and you'll see your phase one and you're gonna hit connect. And you're gonna wait, and you're gonna wait. And eventually, if everything is configured correctly, it's gonna be uh, gonna move over to the established state. So if I go, this is site B, I jump on over to this machine here and I look at the status here and it's established. So there you go. There we go. We have three videos on site-to-site -site, uh, VPN. We've looked at how the basic structure of setting up the lab environment. We've looked at how to set up IPsec between these two um, in this lab environment step-by-step. Uh, -step. We've also looked at the firewall rules that we need to add in order to allow traffic to go between the different networks. If you're enjoying my, my content, please like and subscribe. That helps. Uh, and I've got lots more videos uh, coming your way. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.